next. Keeping an eye behind us, making sure there's no rain creeping up on us, but it's still looking good for now. so brutal the, the way they fight. Well, now they're getting out the water. This is going to be good, folks. This means we can see something very interesting here shortly. Let's watch what happens here. Wow, look at that. Listen to that power. Their teeth rubbing together. There you can see some blood on the two. Not much, but it is there. But this is now where they can really start causing damage to one another. out the water and they've got full strength. You can see a lot of blood dripping down their chins now. But this is kind of what we were expecting folks for them to get out of the water. And that's when they can really cause damage to one another but it seemed fairly even there. seem fairly well matched so this is going to go on for a while until one of them ties and start starts losing strength but as we could all see there very well matched and still a long way for these two to go before they work out who's boss Certainly the best hippo interaction I've ever seen or hippo fights I've ever seen. So I hope you're enjoying it folks because I certainly am and I haven't seen anything quite as dramatic as this regarding hippo fights. So tired now. Have you seen hippo fighting before, Brian? Mm -mm. Not my first time. Hit the jackpot then. When they get into the depths now, things typically tend to calm down to a degree, however, after their last very intense part, which was probably the most intense we've seen this morning, we may expect a slight change in their behavior and for them to potentially carry on without a break, which they've been taking every few minutes. More breaks than fighting is certainly how the morning has been spent. We've been here for close on two hours now, and of those two hours, I would say possibly 15 minutes of that has actually been the cumulative fighting time. The rest of the time, they are sizing one another up and regaining strength. But this does seem to be one of their longer rounds. I'm going to have a lot of photos to 
play with after this. But these sightings don't happen very often, so worth trying to capture as much of it as we can. quite close to us here so that we could get some close-ups on their mouth but that would be hair raising for myself and Brian and I probably in all likelihood would start moving the vehicle as they started getting any close to us.